this will work. Ryan, just keep on telling yourself, this will work. This will work. I think I know how to do this. I think I figured it out. I think the puzzle of Atlantis has been solved. So anyways, let's just roll with it. Okay, yeah, this will work. Hey everyone, this is Dusko Maka Aesthetic Gamer, and we're playing Pathologic Remaster HD. I'm gonna let the opening play, and then I'm gonna explain a few things. Allow me to remind you that an epidemic of unknown origin has already eradicated a few genuinely distinctive towns in the northern part of the country. The cause and circumstances of these tragic events remain uncertain. There is a lot that we cannot explain yet. It appears as though the plague has a mind of its own, as if it is driven by some irrepressible will. Why else has no one managed to fight it successfully? Why does it target the most precious aspects of our existence? The sand plague picks its victims fastidiously, and the same principle always draws it back to whoever tries to oppose it. Surprisingly, we've yet to hear a single word from the powers that be. So, Pathologic is a cult classic game. It's known as one of the odder games to ever come into existence. It was made by Ice Pick, which would go on to make a few other odd games, including Knock Knock and etc. etc. Um, they're actually remaking Pathologic, but before they did the full on remake, which is actually something more of a reimagining, really, um, they decided to release the original game, except in HD for modern machines, and retranslate the whole game. The game was originally in Russian. But um, the translation that had come out originally for Pathologic in English was pretty bad initially. A lot of the story was apparently harder to follow. Uh, they retranslated the whole game. They updated the textures and all that to look a little bit nicer and also to work on modern PCs and all that. And here we go, thus with Pathologic Remaster HD. Now this is actually a blind let's play. I know a little bit about the game, but I've never played it. I've never seen anyone play it. This is just me reaching into the depths of going through this. And honestly, this is probably not the best choice for a game to let's play. The game itself is incredibly long, and you know, this is a blind let's play, so I don't really know how it's going to end up for me. The game has different endings. I won't really talk about the gameplay until we get into the game itself. But on top of all of this, there's a lot of reading, it's kind of a slow game, and it's long as hell. Which makes a bad combination usually for let's plays, but hey, I'm crazy, let's roll with it. Now, before we actually kick into it, though, let me get the chat back open so I can see you guys. Hello, chat. Plus, I should change the game that we're playing to Pathologic, right? Pathologic. Not Pathological. Pathologic. Pathologic. Blind playthrough. There you go. How are you guys doing? It worked! I mean, you guys can see and everything, so thus I guess it's working out accordingly. Just moving things and adjusting windows. Again, if you guys want me to adjust audio, just yell at me and I'll work on it. Okay, that should be good. I'll just make sure I can see the chat and all that perfectly. Anyways, with all that said, we're gonna kick straight into new game. We'll see how this rolls for us. New game a go go. We so are. Wow. It's all about. One second, actually. We're gonna do new game one more time. 
turns out, turns out that mouse sensitivity was way too high. Did you see how fast I was looking around things? I was like, fucking, whoa. Anyways, apply, new game. So, jeez. Mouse sensitivity in this game is really high, even if you put it there. Okay, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell for this amount. I feel like that'd be okay. Let's roll, finally, into this. Let's go straight into Pathologic. So, Ryan, wait. I'm a, what, 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 what am I holding the horses for? Oh, I've been playing Window Notes from V-Sync off. I can do that. Alright. Let's new game it up. So, it's all about trickery to you? Wherever have you come from? No. No. I detest trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well... The muscular contraction is there. Means you're already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles, right here. What a silly place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. Will you please be quiet? You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers, and justice will be restored. I will perform the operation. Medica Morbo Adhibe. Don't you go all bossy on me, clever clogs. You will act justly, but your justice will blind you and become his demise. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Step aside, both of you. Your gentle hands are used to killing, not giving life. You will inevitably do harm. As for Brainy, he has no for long, regard man. for casualties at all. Neither of you knows compassion. I see there's a door yes. over there from the whole house. It seems unlikely that we'll get along well, but there's only one truth. Any choice is right as long as it's willed. That's the truth of the matter. Only the heart will show you the right choice. Stop thinking about yourselves. Think of the sick. He's in pain. I can't see it yet, but I can feel it. It's not even a trap. It's a grave. Subipsum funisumus. Can't say I hold a soft spot for it. I can see that. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. I can hear it. It can be healed, rather than killed. You mean you won't become a killer? But you will. Mark my word, that's exactly what will happen. But I can avoid it. No, we won't ever get along. I suggest we be on our way. The sooner the better. Off we go then? Let's go. The clock is ticking. Oh my. And the stage turned dark. Now, I know there's three playable characters, and since I don't have an identity yet, are those the three playable characters? All three of them seem to have a different viewpoint. The girl was more talking about how everything felt. One of the guys was being more logical. And one of the guys was more thinking about how he felt. I noticed that uh, they all had a different thematic running through them, whoever set up was going there. There's obviously a door over there with the lights. I guess I'm going to transgress over there. I didn't pick up fully what they were talking about, but they seem to be talking about the state of things, at the very least, and deciding how they should approach whatever situation they're in. Here we go, this is when we choose our character between the three characters we just saw, really. Now, I guess this will be an important choice, so... So we got three characters, and we can pick who we're going to be playing as. I guess we're going to roll with this. 
Bachelor. The history of humanity has witnessed a number of catastrophes that have demonstrated about without a shadow of a doubt the pettiness of human achievement and the triumph of the invincible evil. Outbreaks of infection and diseases that have the... Okay, excuse me, no, that's right. That from time to time wipe towns and sites off the map were undoubtedly among those. However smart and virtuous, the people caught up in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that it's no use trying to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite a bullet and cope with the losses. The character is only unlocked after you finish Bachelor and Rick Sterling. Okay, so yeah, the female's not playable in the first playthrough. There we go. I also know that each character has specific scenes to them. Basically, the game's gonna be the same no matter what character you pick as, except certain scenes will only trigger if you play as one of the characters. But anyways, though. And then I guess the other character we can pick right now, but yeah, the female isn't selectable right now. So we have Bachelor and Heart of the How do they call upon the Menku, the faithful of Warden King? Known by their hands, for they are butchers. Known by their eyes, for they are surgeons. They who follow the lines. They who are the leaders of the king. They who speak to a jox. I don't know how that's pronounced. They who know the secret art of Harlowsley. What is a Harlowsley? I don't know, you tell me. Green the future and the entails, he knows that body bears resemblance to the universe. His scalpel follows the lines of the body. His steps follow the lines of his kin's fortune. Uh, Haru Specs that can tell a true line from a false one is entrusted with power. A Haru Specs who is confused by his path gets buried into the deep black flesh of the earth. This is the story of a person who has avoided the contradiction eager to rip a doomed life apart, masterfully fulfilling his true purpose in the process. So, I'm actually going to ask the chat here for a second. I, you guys want to go with Baxter? You guys want to go with Haru Specs? Of course, channeling isn't available right now. Their names definitely seem a bit more symbolic, but yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Bachelor or Harbor Specs? To my knowledge, the game is going to be mostly the same no matter what character we pick, except specific scenes only trigger if we're playing as a specific character. That's at least to my knowledge. We'll see how it plays outside of that. Harbor Specs? Bachelor. They're all either or, really. Alright, the thing is, even though this game is made to be replayed, it's a super long game, so we'll see how it rolls, but hey, let's roll Bachelor. Daniil Dankowski, a let's Bachelor roll. of Medicine, was brought here by circumstances most unfortunate. Dankowski's life work, his theory challenging the existing notions of human mortality, is being harshly persecuted by the powers that be. Suddenly, a letter arrives from a colleague, suggesting that there is previous undiscovered evidence which may support Dankowski's claims. There is a settlement, the letter says, ruled by an extraordinary man who may well be seen as objective proof of Dankowski's daring hypothesis. Grasping at straws of hope, Dankowski decides to follow what he believes to be the sign of divine providence. Without further ado, he sets off for the settlement. Late at night, Bachelor arrives in the town. As he seeks room and board, he gets to know a girl called Eva Yan and stays at her place till dawn.
As of today, my mission remains obscure. The examination of Simon Kane, who is rumored to be a man of incredible longevity, may shake the very foundation of modern technology and challenge the existence notions of death itself. However, even if this undying Levi or Levithan proves to be more than a fairy tale, the mere confirmation of, this is, of his existence won't suffice to prevent the powers that be from shutting our laboratory down. I need to figure out the most fruitful approach. Simon is a well-respected man, and if he mistakes my interest for in for infantry, it would be nigh impossible to convince him to help me break new ground in the field of human vitality. Okay, so today's quest... Nothing. Other task. Nothing. This is our introduction day, so I guess we don't really have any other quest at the moment. We'll roll with it. Day one. By the end of which, the bachelor finds himself battling truly unvanquishable foe. So, being a blind let's play, I really don't know. <laughs> I only kind of have an idea of what we're doing. I'm actually going to turn the mass sensitivity down just a tad. I'm not that down. It was mostly good, just I thought I could go with being a little bit lower. Continue. Yeah, that's much better. So, yeah. I... Hello, setup. That is a drawing of a tree person. Oh, we can actually examine this. Uh, weapons? Clothes, drugs, rations, other. So what is our weapon? We're on day one at 6.04 a.m., I take it? Maybe not. We've got 1,430 silver coin things. Clothes, drugs, rations. How do we access our menu? Oh, I can press tab to pull out my fist. So I can start punching people. That's defend, and I can punch people like that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put my fist away right now. Dem shoes, obviously. Um, I, I as inventory. Scapel. A large capsule scapel can be used as a close combat weapon. Not very easy to handle, but very effective due to its sharpness. Despite the most damage when an attack from the front, frequent uses causes to dull quickly its gun durability. Clothes. Protective gloves. Like gloves made of synthetic material, it serves as a good repellent. Protect the hands from contact with infected surfaces, and moderately against burns and grazes and stabs. 100%. How do I equip this stuff? Oh no! I just unequipped it! Okay. Good. Equipped it again. Drugs. Meridam. A painkiller. You also notice how time is ticking over here? Keep it, pay attention to that, obviously. A painkiller. Rather than sleeping drought, restores a small amount of health. Good for restoring strength, okay. Good for restoring strength uh, during sleep. Metaframe is a strong sedative effect and used to sleep even in excruciating pain. The effect lasts for five hours. Morphine, a universal opaque painkiller, has a strong allergic and sedative effect used for heavy injuries, active pain, and preparation for surgery. Do I get surgery? Reduces fatigue. Alpha tablets. Alpha tablets. An outdated immunity booster, only useful for large doses that cause serious health damage. Tranquilit. Rubber tourniquet facilities uh, facilitates health recovery after traumatized injury, stops bleeding, and mobilizes damaged tissue. Rations. I've got. Water. A ball of spring water from one of the hidden springs. The Cathedral Stone Spring. The spin a yard square well or the Segarcode Spring in the boundary between the steppe and the rotten field. The water from the latter used to be sacred, but the locals are worried about drinking it due to its proximity to burial grounds. Other, I have kerosene. Used for refilling the lamp. Well, let's investigate. Things glow a little bit when we can use it. I don't know what we can investigate there, but we can definitely interact with that at the very least. Let's start exploring. I'm assuming that this was the bed that I think I was waked up. Oh, we can sleep. I'm not gonna sleep right now. No way, no how this early in. Uh, well, that's a drawer, which, oh yeah, you can explore some certain things. Like, I can store items in there, I guess. But I don't have a need to yet, to my knowledge. I'm gonna probably do super terribly, because this is a super blind let's play, so this is gonna probably be me uh, basically failing at this game during this first playthrough. Even though it's like a, it's gonna be 20 hours of me failing, probably. No, I'll probably figure it out eventually. Uh, but at the moment, I'm probably gonna do terribly. And the worst part is this is a game about choice with all these different options, so whatever. For now, we're just gonna be exploring, though. Hello, house around me. Let's kind of look and see if there's anything to interact with around these parts. 
Well, there's this girl here. What an odd painting. That's actually kind of a cute but also gruesome painting. I don't know. It gives that sort of air to it. Anything around here? Besides the cracked mirror? Do you not like looking at yourself, lady? Oh, yeah, I can sleep in all beds. Can't store items there, though. So anyways, lady, ready to talk? I had a feeling you would come. Did the sounds from the outside wake you up, too? There was a terrible groan. And then something snapped loudly. Now I heard nothing. I fell asleep so quickly I didn't even notice. It's like I fainted. So what sounds are you talking about? Uh, oh yeah, it keeps track of what I've said. Uh, I think there are strangers in the backyard. Did the sounds of the outside wake you? I fell asleep. Okay, so I think there are strangers in the backyard by the pond. They're unlikely to be playing mischief, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm afraid to go out to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. I'd like to thank you for your hospitality for board and bed. Why do you think they aren't playing anything foul? Our population is so thin, crime is basically non-existent, especially here, in the stone yard. Sometimes there are pranks, of course, fights happen occasionally, people are young here, so they often go out at night, but we're a tight community, and how I fear hear unfamiliar speech, that's not a good sound. I'll go and take a look, but in a hurry, I must see this founding father of yours. But I'm in a hurry, I must see this founding father of yours, yeah. Are you willing to trade the company of a charming woman for that of a dreadful old man, even if he is a sorcerer? You're bit, whoa, whoa. You all want me to meet your, your dad? That's so sad, but Simon won't go anywhere. He is. He has always been. He always will be. Even for the moon were to fall to the ground. Please stay with me longer. Simon is a sorcerer. Did I hear you right? Is that a secret to his longevity? I couldn't even imagine the hospitality here, but who was waiting for me? Didn't know if I old Bronco on my arrival. I'm not even sure what made me take off in the first off for this place. Glory is the messenger riding the head of the man, a celebrity from the capital, Bachelor Danskoski, the founder of Fantastica, the man who challenges death. Of course we've heard about you. The glory is undeserved yet, but I hope that gain to know your ruler will give me a chance to live up to the expectations. I have to go, Eva. Tell me where Simon Cain lives. Death, so that the enemy you've chosen for yourself, isn't it, isn't it hard? I don't think anyone has managed to defeat that evil yet. Millions of doctors defeated it on a certain singular occasions, but my enemy is more fearsome. It is death itself rather than a singular case of death. My enemy is inevitability. I am challenging the forces of nature. I'm gonna say that. I don't understand. I can barely understand myself. Could death only seem inevitable to us, but in reality be nothing more than a whim of that will has shaped this world? That is the question, so where is the key to my victory? Show me where Simon lives. <laughs> Quite a contrast in responses there. I'm gonna choose this one. It's not far. Uh, the cane lives in the crucible on the bridge square, but could I please offer you a piece of advice? Go on. I need no advice! I completely understand what I'm doing. Now, what am I doing? Simon has two younger brothers. The eldest of the two, J or, J I guess, George Lee, is called the judge by the locals. Visit him first. He isn't asleep. He'll teach you how to speak with Simon. The youngest of the three is Victor. His daughter, Maria, also wants to see you. It's probably important. Who was it? She who knew about my arrival beforehand? Yes, she told me about it privately. Talking to her is no simple task. Maria is that kind of person. She puts on airs, but that's just how the canes are. It was Maria who told me that she would help you defeat death. That's the precise wording. What a coincidence. All right, thank you for your advice. Go, and I'll prepare everything for your return. Do come back after you speak to the canes. They will probably do a lot of things that will puzzle you and put you on guard. I will have some advice that may be to help you if you need it. Okay, I'll come back. I'm gonna like this here for a while, Eva. I'll depart after speaking to Simon, with or without him. I'll come back. Gives me a map. 6.45. Simon Kane, the man of, of improper longevity, is waiting for me here. I hope he sympathizes with my request. I'll need a living evidence of the impossible. 6.45. Mysterious Maria. So this is, they're both right next to each other in wherever field. Here is the goddamn level that we're in. We're currently right here. The mansion called the Stillwater belongs to a single girl called uh, Eva Yan. An accidental midnight encounter provided me with a lovely companion, temporary lodging. Look how big this place is. The altar and that, okay. The red houses are houses that we can enter, it seems. So the gray houses and all that, I don't know what the white houses are about. But the red houses are the houses that are currently open. Oh, uh, probably the 
grayed out house, not the grayed out, but the sort of tan pale houses are houses that can be opened but are currently unaccessible, that's my guess, while it's the dull color houses or houses we can't enter. But then again, if that's true, then the alterbear will be, we, we can definitely go inside that and this at some point, so. Still, it's a big town. But the map's gonna be useful. We're here, they're over there, there's a cathedral right there, town theater, is that where we started? Shelter, town hall, lump, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Jeez, this is, I am definitely being overcome with the feeling that we're in like some weird world, which I need to sort of understand the rules and logic of. But, you know, regardless, let's go on that then. Bye, Eva! So what happens if we try talking to her again? Oh, also shift is crouch. I, th I thought it'd be run, but that's actually crouch. Hi, Eva. Oh, you need to talk I've right. seen the angel of death by the window. Well, that's not nice. The ominous scene outside the window is gnawing at me. Who could be seeing that town like this? Very little time has passed, but I feel hungry and exhausted again. I'll take a look when I go outside. Well, I guess we're going outside. Angel of death is seen by the window, I guess. Let's roll. Welcome to the town. And already the sights are strange. So the pond outside, let me first look over here. The fuck are you? Halt, I'm going to have to teach you about the technicalities of the setting, the time and the place. It's not essential, but that's just how it is. The actor has to be prepared before he goes on stage, or else he'll fall down the aisle or stumble upon the prompt box. That would look mighty silly, wouldn't you agree? Speak, I'm listening. Who are you? You're gonna have to teach me after you're getting your manners. Who are you? Executor is his name. An actor in a tragic mime show. That's important. Will you listen to me or not? I am listening. Time flies by. If you can't be stopped or turned back, night follow, nights follow days, which are then followed by nights. Things happen without any regard for whether you're there to witness them. Don't expect anyone to wait for you. Most events can be missed. So basically you're saying the events are going to happen regardless if I'm there or not. But if I want to be there for an event, I need to be there at the right time. I need to witness an event during the day or during the night, and if I miss an event on that day, then I'm never going to be able to see it, because the event's going to happen regardless whether I was there to witness it or not. And so... And so it would make sense for you to visit the places that you care about regularly. You'll find that people that will play major roles in your fate there. They stand out from the common folk. The rest are just a crowd shot, a background, a bunch of extras. As it has always been. Indeed. Still, it's best to avoid hasty judgment. It's a paradox, you see. Don't try to care too much for the lives of these bound to stand out people. And don't be too dismissive of the silent crowd. Both extremes will end in tragedy. Why is that? This world cares for your reputation, a fine and crucial instrument. Your reputation changes the world, you see, for it is a mirror, won't you agree? And so a bad reputation can get you into a lot of trouble. For example? Oh, need I describe? You've got vivid imagination. Everything changes from mystical aspects to mundane things, like the people you need treating you, you, need treating you badly. How many enemies you've got? How high the prices rise? How bad your dreams are? Lots of things. Oh, I forgot this game had dream sequences, didn't it? I, I remember that now. This game is supposed to have weird dream sequences at night. A sorry prospect, so how do I maintain my reputation? Really? How is that even a question? Same as anywhere. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not betray. Do not steal. Do not covet. Do not be an asshole. Imagine if that was actually one of the commandments. Do not be an asshole. Do not get caught. The rules are the same everywhere. A truly selfless deed. The risking something for the night neighbor or even a person who lives quite far away can help in a dire situation. I see. Really? Good for you then. As for me, I can't see anything in this mask. I have no- I actually thought that was his head. I guess it actually is a mask. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, don't get too worked up about human lives, and don't put too much stock into another's words. Mine included. He who trusts everyone is asking to be deceived. Definitely a he who trusts no one is deluded. I know that from experience. Speaking of trust, where does Simon Cain reside? I would be most thankful if she showed me the way. Alright. Hello, person. 
Young man. Good morals and luck are great help managing a small community without resorting to violence. Personal staying can work wonders. What do you mean? No, it's a pie in the sky. Sorry, I can't help feasting my eyes on your outfit. Who is that mate? Was that who is that mad teller? What do you mean? I like our town. We're all one big family, but sometimes I get the feeling that we're all controlled by an unseen power or actions, but fiction. It's quite possible. And then you Bachelor, please be so kind as to linger for a minute. The conversation won't take too much time for your time, especially since time stops during dialogues. That's good to know. But at least during the important ones. And our dialogue's extremely important. You need to know how to play after all, don't you? Play? What are you talking about, Mask Man? I'm neither a gambler nor an actor. Who are you? A poor tra tra tragedian, if you please. A victim of circumstance, just like you. You look more like a comedian. I don't have time to talk to you. You're mistaken, I'm a director. Person in charge of the situation, I'm not a random actor. Of course you aren't. You are a living, breathing man. As is evident from your conditions and status, you experience hunger, thirst, and fatigue. You suffer from pain, wounds, and diseases. You are so lifelike. You have to eat, drink, sleep, and rest, and to make mistakes. The latter being the most definitive proof of my human nature, wouldn't you agree? If I may, I would like to point out just how important it is to keep an eye on your condition. If you get dizzy or unnaturally sluggish, do have it checked up. Vital processes tend to run faster during emergencies than in everyday life. I knew a person who died of stress but was diagnosed with starvation. Happened like that's why you as a doctor, and that's why that as a doctor. Got a son is good, sir. I can take care of myself. Need I remind a wise man like you of the fact that hunger is sated with food? Food can be found in shops, and shops can be found in ordinary houses that are marked with specific signs. Sleep, however, is more complicated. People only sleep in beds and only in private residence around here. I'm sorry, but that's just how our world is. Yes, the world is unjust. And quite silly, if you forgive me for saying so. Speaking of commerce, different shops sell similar items at different prices. Make sure you don't get cheated. People can be quite brazen around here. You can also barter with the folk out of the street. Some things may be nothing more than trinkets to you, but others would be willing to part with their life's blood for them. You're a boar, mate. Let me through. No blood? Yes, blood. It's not my place to lecture you, but if following your hypocritic oath, you ever consider easing someone's pain, feel free to just approach them with a suitable drug. You will see their pain recede before your very eyes. The chicks sell, fall asleep while they're close to recovery, don't they? Or when they're close to their ultimate rest. Still, helping the hopeless will grant you a good reputation. You'll be seen as a benefactor willing to part with a precious sleeping draught or a painkiller for a simple bystander. Anything else? No, no, not yet. Show me the way to Simon's house. Turn left now, then walk along the alley. You'll see a cathedral and three mansions across Bridge Square, silent from the one the closest to the river. Thank you. Well, this is already quite the setup. Now, I'm gonna pause for one second to change one more thing with the controls. Sorry, controls, I don't want to change about you. Uh, shift and control. Sneak. Left control. That'll be more natural for me. Use jump, attack, show hide hands. I can roll the rest of this basically. Inventory is I, map is M, diary is Q, letters are L, character status. So P is character status. This is so we can see P to see where we're currently at. Um, that's our quest. Journal was J or D, whatever. I'm gonna see the thing by the pond out back. Yeah, there's a scene going on here. Let's see what happens. both see me. I guess I'll approach them. Can I jump in the pond? Yes, I can. But that gave me a stats in the upper left. I don't know what that was for. Hello, 
producers. It's gonna stand up for me. What do you want? This ain't your business. What is this creature? And all the duh. That's what all them cattle breeders look like. Crude and unshapely and unfinished. Don't you know? Whenever you come from an intruder, huh? If you could, it's you as a train, go away as a visitor in this town. Who would have thought it's home to such creatures? Oh. Don't you see that he's sick? He's a runaway, this odd dog. I'm just gonna call him Otto. Hide him all night long, I did. We'll march across the river now, or else here he dies. I'm gonna probably have some reoccurring voices I'll mention, just to make it easy on myself. Give him a break, will ya? He ain't gonna bite your head off. Be on your way and watch out, too. We don't need no witnesses. Can do some killing if we must. I'll show you some killing, you savage. Fine, I'm leaving. Relax. I won't tell anyone about you. This worm feels sick. Head packed. Blood boiling. Belly freezing. Let the warm warm up. Let him take a rest. Don't touch us. We're dangerous. Get lost, even more dangerous. Well, that's some stretch, Sanchi. Well, how on earth do you even live like that? Oh! 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 We're actually fighting? I don't know how it works. Wanna punch it out? I haven't saved my game! I'm terrible at this. Oh, I say that, but I kill one of them. Oh, pff, death. Might be bad to kill them. Might be bad to die, though. Adorable and apparently stinks. Well, that was a game over screen. Okay. Load game. We didn't save our game, so it's okay. We can just skip through this pretty so quickly. It's all about trickery. Thankfully, we didn't get very far off to figure out how you save from. your game. Oh, you can save your game at any time. No. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Test trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well. The muscular contraction is there. Watch the scenes I got through. are already this way. inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles right here. There we go. Now play as Bachelor. Daniel Dankowski. Thankfully, we can skip cutscenes. Loading the world. That's a man with a dog's head. We're actually going to meet a man with a dog's head. Good game, no rare. Uh... Thankfully, this time we'll save a bit of time, so I'll, I'll get it understand. Now I know I can save at any point in time, so that's a, that's a good thing to know. I don't actually want to beat them up. I was just kind of curious what the dialogue chain would lead to, so remember, people will fight me in real life for specific reasons. I had a feeling you would come. Sorcerer. I was gonna say the same answers I gave last time. I give it a place. Oh, I found the console. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna save there. Save. Okay. Moving on out. Well, we say all the way back, but honestly, we didn't get very far. Well, the time is different now. So yeah, this game obviously is a day-night system. This is early in the morning. I'm gonna trigger the conversation with these two while it's early in the day. Oh, 
But what about if these these two are stalking out Eva's house? What if they kill Eva? Now that's my concern. What if these bozos? Or maybe they're just completely fine. What if they try to kill her? Do I care about Eva's life? Hmm. The fact that I can fight them and them being back here does imply maybe there's more going on here than I realize. Choices, choices, I know. Now let me... No, not, not right there. How do I equip the scapel? Let me go over here to my inventory. How do you equip this? Is it just equipped when it's highlighted? And right, now I can see it. Let's fight! I've signed death to all that oppose me. Wanna fight, sir? I'm gonna save Eva. I don't know if this is really what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pretend I'm saving her. Some revolver ammo. I'll take all of it. You had a needle. Alright, I'll put this away. Also, now that I figured out how that works. Clothes, I should have equipped that. I guess I need some drugs. Painkiller, rather than sleeping dry, restores a small amount of health. Uh, three seconds. Good for restoring strength during sleep. We are already as strong as that. Uh, this is sleeping during. I'm gonna go back and talk to Eva. Now then. Do I care about Eva's life? Of course. I do. Well, do I care about Eva's life? That really was the question. Eva, I killed them. Then again, you know what? They were gonna kill Eva. Because remember what she said earlier? I feel death is looking through my window. From then she's heard it's that she so heard something. It's quiet around now. Yeah, because I think the saves are I bet they were gonna kill Eva. Because she was saying, talking about she could see death through the window and all that. I bet they were gonna kill her. That was clues. My here. lacquer is cracking, see? My lacquer is cracking. <laughs> the ominous scene outside the window is gnawing at me. Very little as time has passed. I take a look at this. I, I can't hear anything. Uh, I'm having chest pain. Since you decide to fight death, you will have to be very careful in September. You will be dying with every breath of our air. We're all dying with every second of our life. It's exactly this annoying phenomenon that I've challenged, but since you heard of uh, Thandaka's achievements, I'm not going to waste your time monologuing. What am I supposed to do? Not breathe your air? Should I stockpile up in the air from the capital? You got me wrong. You'll be dying here much faster than in the capital. Uh, your body is wasting away just as fast as a boat sinks with a hole full of water. <laughs> breathe in the air. Can you feel it? You have a pup, but why? The step base full of various herbs. They fill the air with the dizzying vapors. White whip, tire, and a sweatery are dangerous in August and September. When herbs render their juices to the sun, people tend to get headaches this time of year. Heart suffers, lying with pains. My heart aches too. How do you people live here? Twire is a rare herb, so usually it's bearable, but this year it's unbelievably plentiful. The elderly say that this is a phenomenal. Nothing like this has happened before. They think it's a bad omen. Well, I don't believe that, but the air is all drowning. Can't you feel it? Don't you feel dizzy? Yes, the air is heavy. You need to sleep often. Never go hungry. Drink more water. You need to look after yourself properly. If you feel sick, forget everything else and get some rest. Otherwise, you may die of a heart attack or bleeding. Be careful, all right? Both my heart and mind are strong enough. The more I think to do, the faster I die. That's symbolism if I ever saw it. I had a feeling you would come. Take a look outside. Why don't you hold your hand up like that? Anyways. Let's roll on outside. 
Hey, hey. So, I got the saw and I was playing that here stuck in my head. Their bodies disappear. Probably should drink the pond water. Okay. So that's all set up. Let's look at it. She looks a bit dazed, obviously. There's also a back door, and I didn't really see a back door to the house. I wonder where this actually leads to. Let me take a solid look. It's not open. There's the sun. Now then, I'm gonna actually go and visit the people I'm supposed to, because there is actually a day, and there's things I need to accomplish, so yeah. I... Also, the characters are missing now. Well, life has begun in this strange world of ours. It's our first time to really venture out into the world. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna try and do the objectives I'm meant to be doing. Now the map is M. So there's houses like this right here. This looks like a house I can enter, but I'm guessing that uh, the yellow means something. Oh, it's just missed houses. I can, okay, I can actually enter inside all the yellow houses as well. So in this map, I can enter every single red house and yellow house. But the red houses are special houses. The yellow houses are miscellaneous people's houses or shops and such. You know what? I'm actually going to heal myself right now. Drugs. Oh, I... Exhaustion and stuff. I? Well, I did something. I accidentally consumed it without meaning to. Oh my god, this guy's face. I pick his nose with the scissors. Um... Um... Do I... Do, do I... The 105 coins? Okay. Did I buy it? No. Oh, I heard a bell. How do I... Yes. There we go. I've got... Bell. I got two. Okay, I figured it out. I figured out how to shop. Even though this guy might have ripped me off. Huh. This is a slide. Okay then, move through town in the meantime. What is that two at the very top? I, is that like my the toxic air I'm inhaling? It looks like clouds, which is why I ask. Well, there's the Catherdell, which means over here is where I want to go. Hello, person. Good morals and good luck. What do you mean? This is the person I think I talked to earlier? It's quite possible. Over here is where I think I need to go. Look at my map, that is yes. First off is the Catherdell. Also, you can see the giant building over there. Well, Catherdell, I'm gonna take a look at you. Let's see what you're like. Well, this looks symbolic. Empty bottle is required. Oh, this is one of the places that we can get clean water, right. So if I need clean water, it's one of the few places I can go to to get it. This feels like it's going to have story purposes later, but the moment's mostly empty. Oh, actually, there's something back there. This is a place where I can get clean water, though. Well, there's an upstairs, so... I guess I'll head up there first. Wow, this is spiraling. Probably shouldn't fall down there. Would be my solid guess. Well, probably a very good one, too. But still, it feels like there's not much of a purpose to this area right now. There's a mask and some other things. I'll probably come to play more so later. Circle around down. Excuse me as I turn. Here I am, back to the church hall. I'll come here later. The music's kind of creepy, though, for this place. Now where I actually want to go is not that child's palace over here. I'm going to actually do what I think I want to do. Do I want to talk to the girl first? So let's see. The 
mysterious Maria, Victor Kane's star, has been expecting my arrival for several days. Seems she needs to know more about me than I do. Simon Kane, the man improper. So I shouldn't talk to Simon Kane first. I would suggest I should talk to the younger brother to know how to talk to him. Hello, Zero, sir. Anything I can do for you? I'd be much obliged if you helped me learn how to get around town. Tell me about the town hall. What is there? The warehouses in the district are as well, right? There's more than one town here. The first one is called the Bull Project. The second one, the offspring of the project, is the districts. I mean, the residential part itself. Not so long ago, the town also dropped anchor across the river, but I wouldn't go so far as to call that part of the district, too. It's just the polyadron. Tell me about the Bull Project. The district's a good way to call the, well, the town itself. Well, it just sort of came to be that way. The Golat and the Gazel, the Gorkin's tributants, divide the town into three parts. Each one of them consists of many separate courtyards. So maybe that's the reason. And where are those parts? The lower part, adjacent to the Albatoir, is called Earth. The one between the Golat and the Guzzle we call the Knots. And the triangular prominently between the Guzzle and the Gothlorn is the Stone Yard. That's intricate. What about the district's names? The Stone Yard consists of two districts, the Bridge Square and the Atarium, plus the Mistress's Tomb, of course. Earth has four residential districts, the Skinners, the Tanners, the Hind Corners, and the Crude Sprawl in the middle. Is something wrong? I'm just not sure you need any of this. The Knots have seven districts, the Spleen, the Marrow, the Chine, the Backbone, the Mouth, the Flank, and the Gut. I don't suppose I need to go into further details. Surely the Canes will show you around. They're expecting you, after all. Much obliged. And yep, body part names. So, I'm gonna, should I talk to the girl first or this guy? I'm gonna talk to the girl first, then I'm gonna talk to him. Is that I was told that I should talk to someone else before Simon. That was one of the needle things I have, right? Why did that show up? Oh, I picked up a needle. Oh, maybe that's stuff I'm picking up. Oh, it's the other thing I'm picking up. How do I enter this building? Oh, here's the doors on the other side, of course. Let's go inside! Well, this is already intricately looking. Picture of a creepy girl by herself. Another cracked mirror. Have you guys been noticing how the mirrors have been cracked in this place? I don't know if there's a reason for that. A painting of a dead, bloodied body. That is not what you want to roll with. I could sleep here, but I'm not going to. Fire walk with me. Okay. Another intricate thing. This ain't anywhere near how you pronounce it. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, there you are. I was like, huh, this is the final room? I was, where is she? Oh, I just slept in her bed. We just have to deal with more cracked mirrors everywhere. Picture of her. Okay, ma'am, let's talk. Yes. You resemble an adventurer rather than a doctor. How is it that you know me? Who are you? I am an adventurer. Appearances can be deceiving. I saw you in a dream. Don't flatter yourself. My desires have nothing to do with that. I simply saw you take us all by the throat. What else did you see in the dream? Malgent words. I'll tell you when I think I can trust you. I hope that happens soon. You're an arrogant girl, aren't you? It came from below the ground. For many years, we were burying the bones wrong. I have a lot to tell you. Bachelor Daskvi, but I dare not until you meet my uncle Gregory. Otherwise, he'll rip my tongue out for disclosing a secret. So strict morals your family has. They make more sense than you may think. This is not a game, is it? For all that is holy, do, not, do speak to my uncle. And then come back to me, otherwise the excruciating anticipation will tear my heart to pieces. Alright, we cannot put your heart at stake, can we? Oh, but there's a question you need to ask. Great souls. Where's your uncle now? Close to hand, just next door. Go to the wing that's closer to the river. His roof is shaped like a crown. I'll be back soon. Okay. An odd house, but then again, this whole place is rather odd, so sure, it's also becoming more daytime as day goes on. Closer to the river, the only thing is, the wrong thing that's wrong about there is the direction, so there's technically two rivers. So is that the river? Is this the river? I mean, I guess I assume. I'm gonna check out this house. 
Yeah, you know what? I was told to talk to this guy first. So I should talk to him first. I'm gonna go over to the other house, talk to the person, because I feel like that seems more uh, appropriate here. My status seems fine. Health is okay, immunity, exhaustion. Does hunger being low mean I'm hungrier, or does that mean I'm more full? I don't know, really. Still a lot of things to figure out. Let's move into here. I'll talk to the brother first, cause I, so I can learn how to talk to Simon. Not to mention this might be the uncle. I don't really know. I haven't quite figured out how this place all rules yet. They have some interesting paintings around these parts. Huh. I like their art. I do. Okay, crown-shaped room. If the guy's in a crown roofed room, then I'll know. Oh wait, no, but this guy stood up to meet me. What a gentleman. Hello. I fear that Simon's death is a symbolic event. What? Is he dead? The famous Dr. Dankowski. Your arrival is a great honor for us. Victor Kane at your service. Daniel Daskari at yours. Oh, wait. I foresee the things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. I would like to compensate for that impression. You know our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. What do you mean? I mean that traditions, games that we play with passion, will most likely be of no interest to you. The people you meet here may seem eccentric, naive, or even somewhat deranged. Please take it easy on us. Don't judge us too strictly. I'll do my best not to disappoint you. I hope we will be able to work in an atmosphere of mutual trust. Who is it walking upstairs? Georgery is waiting for you, my friend. He has news for you that you'll find surprising. I only ask one thing. Don't be too quick to reject his request. What does he want from me? He will explain it better himself, but we put too many hopes in your arrival. The echoes these hopes lows has led him to offer you a rather intricate conundrum to solve. What is it? <clears throat> it's not exactly in your line of work, and yet if we are to believe a certain source, which we deem quite trustworthy, it appears that you are the only person that can help our family. The reward would be fitting, of course. Alright, I'll speak to Gregory. So basically, speak to Gregory before I speak to Simon, is the gist of what I'm picking up from all this. Sure, I'll go speak to Gregory. Moving along the way. Let's see what these folks want me to look at, in which case they want me to look inside in themselves. Okay, so look for the Gregory before I talk to Simon. Simon should be in this house too, but I want to talk to Gregory first. He's in the crown-shaped room. Also, I should save. Look at these flowers. Huh. Quite the painting. Wait, though. Where's Gregory? I'm going to talk Is there like a back side to this house? There is. Can I enter it? No, I cannot. <sighs> but if that's Simon, not Gregory, I'm going to be like, oh no. The Sabarov's wait is over. Close to hand, just next door. Go to the wing that's closer to the river. It's a roof shape like a crown. Go to the wing that's closer to the river. Next door. Wing closer to the river. Shaped like a crown. Yeah, okay. I 
feel like I'm wasting a good amount of time here. That's, I've only been here. I, in the game's time, I've only been here for two hours. But, you know, whatever time, it's whatever time. Okay, so I feel like it's in here. This area is a bit more shaped like a crown than that area. I'll see who this person is, but I don't know how you twist and turn here. It looks like there's only one pathway to my eyes, but what do I know? Who are you? Few people know death. This is Gregory. We only endure it, usually from determination, and even from stupidity and custom. Most vulnerable doctor, it is with great impatience that we have been expecting you. You need not delve into the minutes of your business with us, since our family is well acquainted with your scholarly work. We are also quite aware of your difficulties you are experiencing, and well prepared to do our utmost to support you. It hurts me all the more to be the one to inform you that Simon, my contiguous brother, the creator, keeper and environment of all that surrounds us, has been murdered. So that if he was dead, I, I was thinking earlier that they said he was dead, but yeah, I... Now then, I can't believe it. It cannot be. Damn, why did it have to happen just before I arrived? Right as I found the chance to prevail. Who did it? I can't believe it. It cannot be. Precisely. Why did it have to happen just before your arrival? Are you asking yourself the same question? I hope you do not see any connection between my arrival and the murder. In fact, I do see a connection. However, do not mistake it for the thought that it was you who murdered him. What do you know? My brother was murdered last night under the strangest of circumstances, but... For all that mystery surrounding his death, I'd rather scowl the notion that his departure was connected with whoever had visited Simon that evening. The visitor is a man, a laudable reditude, and an old friend of our family. There are witnesses to Hesma that he and Simon had nothing but converse. Who was the visitor? Has it occurred to you that your brother could have died of natural death? And yep, uh, this game is supposed to be a really long game. I'm gonna say that. Who was the visitor? Someone you know quite well. The man who my brother saw last night uh, was your colleague, Isidore Burka. He was not the very person who advised you come here as well. Yes, I would have told you that I have been brought here by the hand of fate not so long ago. A naive man that I was. Hmm, Isidore has done more than he thinks. I have a lingering feeling that time itself is using uncontestable powers to further its own intentions. What will you do? I'm no fatalist. Categories like time and nature and fate deprive man of responsibility for what goes on around him. I was taught to avoid this worldview. It could be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot escape the feeling that your arrival is no coincidence. Your choice has, was made for you, my dear doctor. Let us not blame fate for it. Mr. wrote to you without making us aware. <laughs> He took a risk that could have that could have displeased our family. Really? Why do you speak the word fate with such disgust? Even though we were uncertain of what uh, that when you would arrive, my brother was looking forward to meeting you. The tragedy may have been a consequence of the actions he took in preparation for your arrival. Someone has made a powerful piece from the chessboard, a piece upon which your position here depended. It is doubly regrettable that Simon was playing on your side. So you presume the queen knew of the blow and sacrificed itself with a pawn, but why am I scared to go to you? Is there anything to help? To grant you victory over death, was it not your ultimate aspiration? To help you, Simon seemed to have played a very dangerous game with fate itself. He went out of his way to provide you with a body of evidence. What he do is that indeed so I feel obliged. Do you want to help us, Doctor? I find the murderer for us. I find the murderer for us. My brother Victor, who is in the wing next door, would share some of his thoughts on the matter. Help us, and the reward will not disappoint you. Indeed, it seems that there are so many coincidences your brother murder can just as well be called the murder of Bachelor Danskri. I will help you in every way I can. Need some time to get back to I respect you will not wear these developments and render my whole life work null and void. I'll help any way I can. I am convinced that if there is anyone at all that can help us solve this puzzle, then it is you. The mission calls for someone too astute and inventive as yourself. If Ishidor was an instrument of fate, then Simon's murder is a message that fate intended you for you personally. Do you think I am inclined to blame you for that? I am not. How do you plan to look for the murderer? That would have been strange, to say the least. 
We will take our own measures. The only thing I expect from you is to be yourself. Do only what you think is required. Whatever you find out, whatever you do, whatever your, whatever your dream turns into, everything is a clue to the solution of this puzzle. I repeat, everything that is happening here is happening on your account. Okay? I'm important. That I'm the center of the universe. I'm the fucking universe! Fine, I'm here with this cause of action. No one wants me to talk to Gregory. Yeah, we're Victor Lewis. We'll roll with it. I'm deadly tired. I am counting on you, Doctor. What do those locals could help me? Whose words can be trusted? Oh, one more thing. I'd like to examine your brother's body. I don't know for how long you'll remain here, Doctor. You're most welcome to be my guest, even though I won't try to keep you. While you are here, though, and especially since you are trying to find out the truth, it is my duty to offer you a piece of advice. I would be most grateful for it. This remote place has a history of its own. There is not enough time to retell it to you, which is unfortunate since it is the background of the town that may possibly justify some local uh, conventions that will most likely seem barbaric to an educated person like yourself. What taxes have to leave in your society, then? There are three truths that rule this town. Three origins, three ideas, if you will. For several generations, these three powers have been in conflict with each other. I expect none of them can exist without the other two, yet each of them still strives to dominate. Each of them has its own voice, too. Please tell me more. <laughs> I have studied philosophies at the university and take it far more seriously than some of my colleagues. However, I will see it's useless since I tell you more. These voices are the ruling families, the co-owners of the Bull Project, who have been ruling the town for almost two centuries. Each one of the truths they represent is screaming at the top of its lungs and is doing travesties, whatever value it carries. This is too complicated. I don't see what it has to do with your brother's murder. Who are they? So much pathos. They wanted to inform me about three contradictory versions. I'll ask who they are, because I really don't know who they are, but yeah, yeah. I... The first voice is the Sabervus. The second is the old base guys. The third one is us, the Canes. Of course, you guys have the easiest thing to remember. We are the three heads of one beast. Each one of the clans will offer their own understanding of what is going on. Each of the three will use their own voice, and the voices of their followers to lie and distort the truth. We cannot exist otherwise. However, in doing so, we will inadvertently reveal the entirety of the truth to anyone who would listen. You suggest I believe you? Do so, I am surrounded by lies. How exciting truth is my own idol. It is only for the truth that I fight. Don't worry, I only trust proven facts. Well, no one will dare lie to your face. I have no doubts everyone will tell you the truth, but they will tell you in such a fashion that this truth will conceal the reality better than any deception would. The only thing I am asking for you is don't jump to conclusions. Compare different versions. Your extraordinary intelligence will allow you to ascertain the truth. That inspires hope. So basically, don't just immediately trust things that people tell me. Look at things from different angles and pay attention to the overall running theme of something more than the individual opinions and skewers of viewpoints on the particular topics. I get it. Furthermore, each of us will try to paint a gainly picture of the other two. Most likely, we will fill you in on the negative sides of each other's faction and withhold anything that is good about them. That is inevitable. None of us will stoop to outright slander, so everything that will be said will most likely be true. But this truth will be one-sided and incomplete. Listen carefully to what we say and take it into account. Thank you. The stories of the evil that the Cain have unleashed in this world are partially true. Do not feel obliged to act in our favor. As you can see, I will stop before nothing to ensure that an unbiased investigation. The lack of prejudice I want to instill with you is the one only reason why I am making a confession like this. I do not want my brother to have died in vain. Of course, I, mean, I can't fully trust you, sir. I will investigate your brother's murder, though. I'll take your word seriously, don't worry. Here are desires concur, Judge. Now let's talk. So the Saburovs have offered patronage to some changeling. Who well, is she? Well, one more thing, I'd like to examine your brother's body. We have sent for Isidore. Barkas must accomplish that for Yatis. His name is Stanflaff Rubin. Why a resolute and talented man this Rubin is, I have great expectations of him. He will bring to everything you need to you and we'll examine the body together. I am no pathologist, but I am a pathologic. <laughs> An autopsy is not my specialty, but I could never pour a permanent examination. Alright, let me know when Ruben arrives. 
I would expect him to join you in the evening. No earlier than 11 o'clock, I would say. Why so late? I personally invite him to come no later than midnight. Don't let it worry you. Hmm, it seems like you're not too much of a hurry to ascertain the details of your brother's death. On several occasions, excessive haste that has led to undesirable certain consequences. The phenomena that Isidore has invited you here to study. It is our blood. This psycho or psychological trait of your family shows itself from time to time. That's quite intriguing. The examination of the body will not help you in any way. This puzzle has to be solved with your mind. Ooh. I am not able to, or even allowed to tell you any more than that. Believe me, I am not trying to conceal any evidence from you. The body is kept in the ice house. It is intact, but focus may not be breached. I'll wait for the required period of time to pass. Please take all possible measures to assure the safety of the body. In growing old, we become more foolish. How many doctors and are in your town? More wise. If we exclude Ishidor or Bakra, Stanley's Rubin is the only doctor here. He's the most competent of Ishidor's apprentices. The rest are good for nothing, as far as I can tell. They're only capable of disordering the knowledge the teacher is trying to pass on to them. Do you trust this Rubin? I would trust Rubin with my life. A competent medic of remarkable courage and laudable integrity. Everything he does is done with appropriate diligence and care. He doesn't like people that much, but he is eager to serve them. Why do you ask? I ask him what kind of man he is. How do I get to know him? Ruben will come here tonight to get down to examining my brother. You will get acquainted then. All right. I feel almost nothing. <laughs> Quite the comment. I like to count. Uh, I'm counting. I like to speak to Isidore first and foremost. Okay, I think that's all I really want to know right now. All right, back on out. How did time pass during some of that uh, conversation? No, not really. I guess that makes sense. Well, let's go talk to Gregory again, because it's back and forth in discussions, Phil. It's okay. Let's see what Gregory has to say. Also, let me look at my map for a second. So, the three houses. Where's the other houses? The Ogmuski Mansion. So this is the Ogmuskis. And where's the last one? That's not... Uh, I'll figure it out with time. But still, though, we have to learn more of how everything's laid out around here. You're the house that you can now. Gregory, let's have another discussion. Gregory, oh dear Gregory, I'm here to say hello. There he is, back here in the house. Hi, Greg. What's up? Nice haircut. His hair looks like it's a mop. Hi. I fear that Simon's death is a symbolic event. Gregory has told me everything, which is to say he told me very little, but it was enough to astound me. He maintains that you are to provide a more detailed account. So you have agreed to help us? I have. May I ask why? The killer's goal seems to align astonishingly well with the goals of those who have been waging war against my work for years. We share a tragedy. I want to exact revenge and upon the one who robbed me of my work in the future. I want to solve a puzzle. I even like having so little information. It's a challenge to my intellect. I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. When was Simon last seen? He sent Isidore home, then an hour later he came to the hall to see us. He announced his plans to withdraw to the Focus and receive no one. He told us not to approach the Focus and fast for a week, partaking of neither meat nor water. Then in the morning he was found dead. Someone was hungry. Must have eaten him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How was he found? Could he have been poisoned? Why no meat or water? Our explanation is that he wanted to be mourned beforehand, as the custom with the local people. This is very like him. So he knew in advance he would die? I think between me and you, that is precisely what my brother Gregory fears. I can say nothing more than that. How was the body discovered? The servants discovered him in the morning. The room has been ransacked. Everything that was breakable had been broken. His disfigured, contorted body bore signs of terrible suffering. His neck was twisted, his spine broken, I think. No one has touched the body. It is currently inside the focus and will remain there for the prescribed amount of time. Uh, what is the phone? Do you suspect anyone? No, all I know is that Isidore was with him that evening. No one can enter the focus against Simon's will. Well, perhaps the higher being could, but no one else. Uh, could the murder have already been waiting for Simon there? No, you have no concept of where the focus is. Entering is like entering someone else's mind, or a drawn picture, if you will. It's impossible. 
Well, Simon did somehow, didn't he? He could perform far more impressive feats. There's a reason why the whole town reveres, I, I mean, revered him. Alright, so how can I help you? Tell me honestly, dear Victor. Does Simon exist at all? Bravo, Doctor. There's indeed a spark of genius in you. Alas, yes, yes, he did. Alas. It's not that I would benefit from his death, alas, for that would be too simple an explanation. Simon well and truly did exist. That is exactly what left everyone in disarray. It was so hard for them to accept his existence that he thought of the, his demise is now driving them mad. Fair enough. What do you want from me, then? You're all hares. Wouldn't you all benefit from his death? Didn't the old man rather outstay his welcome in the world? His death is a challenge to our continued existence. We are neither insane nor suicidal. Who do you suspect? Just take a look around. Trust your intuition. Do whatever you like. Speak to whoever you feel the need to. Look for the murderer doctor and you will find them. Keep looking to the last breath. I'm sure your rational thinking will help you. So his door is the only lead. How can I help him? Alright, who am on the town so can help me with this? My daughter will advise you better here. Her name is Maria. For several days, she's been obsessed with some design that is somehow related to your arrival. Yes, don't be surprised. She knew beforehand that you were coming. I'm not surprised. Really? That's good. Anyway, Maria believes that several bound people will play a special role in your fate. Before you leave this place, of course, perhaps it is them you should help ask for our help first. First, I will, shall seek for my dear colleague, as Dorbrak words to I'll put murder myself, use my intuition. I don't need anyone else's help on this. That does it. I'm going to break soon. Today's quest. In pursuit of a killer. Oh, do I have to complete this today? In pursuit of a killer. To find out who killed the immigrant Simon Kane, the dead man's own family may not want more to do so. I have an abiding desire to punish the murderer, to eradicate them, no matter if they are acting on the account or the behest of power that to be. Whoever they were, they picked the moment far too well. My general associate, my self advisor, is Dora Burko, was his last person to see Simon Kane alive. If it wasn't for Burko's guidance, I never would have come to this backwoods domain. All the more reason to start my pursuit with him. Oh, he's over here. This is where... Bro oh, he's on the other side of town. Well, I'll head there after I talk to the girl. I kind of want to explore stuff around here. Okay. Let's talk to Maria, then. Maria! I don't want to say it all like that. Let's see what the girl's up to. Da -da 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 -da. Going over there. Apparently she foresaw my arrival. What is she, a gypsy? Maybe. I don't know what I'm keeping picking up. I picked up three of whatever that is. Maybe poison. Man, it's being bit by rattlesnakes on my way over there. Anyways, hello, Maria. Let's talk. It came from below the ground. For many years, we were burying the bones wrong. You said that earlier. Let's see. Now, listen closely. The time for collusion, secrets, and alliances has come. I'm going to ask something of you. I am not used to that. I am used to holding the reins. But you are not harnessed, so it would be unacceptable to address you in this manner. I find solace in the fact that my request would be welcome with you. It fits the style of your venture. I'm not an adventurer, and my job is no venture. I hope I will never become one. Yes, you'd better be polite. I'll take kindly to others. I'm a creature of liberty. I apologize if my words come across as mangled and silly. I'm truly not used to asking, but the nature of my request demands complete and selfish humility. You just imagine me begging and kneeling, and believe me, I do feel that way. No need to kneel. What do you want to talk about? I'd kneel myself before a lady as charming as you are. <laughs> no need to kneel. What did you want to talk about? Today's death was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened the score of irreplaceable victims. Soon their number will multiply. I beg you to preserve the lives of several people when the lines of their fortune cross you. Before any of them dies, there will be a moment when you'll be able to intervene. I know that for a fact. Basically, she's explained to me that people will die unless first I save them. Who are these people? How? I had a vision. I'm clairvoyant. I will become the nocturnal queen soon, just like my beloved sorceress mother used to be. So you want to take care of them? Dreams lie. 
And to turn back the wheel that is about to crush us. Yes, this is my last hope. Perhaps at least you are the master of your fate. Even Simon cannot boast this title now. How would you reward me in ten days' time? These people were still alive. Would you go out and go with me to the capital? I was not saying go out because I was reading that over there. I'm staying here for a day or two anyway. Oh, your PD is only matched by your intelligence. You know how to push my buttons. Are you really a sorceress? Please refer to Eva Yan with such ideas, Bachelor. She will gladly go to the capital with you. Just remind her to slip into the something before she sees the remises the house. Well, don't let it go to your head. I'll probably be able to reward you in my own way. You won't be disappointed. Okay. Let us go back to the people you worry about. Even though I cannot share your anxiety, you failed to scare me. You should speak badly about Emma. She offered me room and board, and very welcome, you know, Maria. I will take on responsibility this huge, I'm sorry. Now, let's see. Let's go back to the people you worry about, even though I cannot say, sir, you failed to scare me. You should speak badly. Okay. That doesn't matter. That was, uh, what was destined to happen will happen. You can be wherever you want to be, but not a coward choosing to hear no evil and run away from reality. I will give you a list of those I know. These people are bound to you. Bound? What's going on here? Are you trying to flirt with me? Bound? There is a tight spring of power within each of these people. Each of them can break the routine of human experience, existence and become something greater. They are strange, and they are standing on the verge of their humanity, gazing into a realm where they could serve a different, higher purpose, without even knowing it. Moreover, they are bound to make the leap, in one way or another. That's why we call it simply the bound. But how is their fate bound to mine? Did you say my victory depended on them? How? When are these people supposed to die? Bound to die. No need to shy away from it. That is, the, is also implied. Answer my question, Maria. How and when will they die? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not a mistress yet. The future is not as clear to me as I would prefer, but I can feel the present. I can feel the present. I can already distinguish a dubious guess from the pulse of the precise knowledge devoid of words and images. These people are bound to you. Your lives are connected. I wouldn't have asked you to take care of them otherwise. Are you clairvoyant or something? You sound delusional, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, yeah, I ha you haven't been told, have you? It didn't even cross my mind that someone may be unaware of my abilities. No one here dares doubt them, for they are evident. Yes, the mistress of every ruling house possesses special abilities. I am learning to see the future and transforming the present. This fact offers your world a different degree of authenticity. Forgive me, but I don't believe it's this type of phenomenon. Will you comply with my request? Will you save the lives of the people I named to you? Answer me before going back to Eva. Alright, it's truly within my power. I'll do my best to save the lives. How do you know that Eva has asked me to come back? No, Maria, I need to go back to the capital as soon as possible. I always follow my principles. Doesn't matter which lies of fortune cross. There'll be no exceptions. Alright, if it's within my power, I'll try and save them. Whatever happens, these people must live. Their fates are bound to mine. This may well hold the keys to victory in hand. So these people are destined to die unless, of course, I save them. Gregory, but I liked him well enough. So I haven't met Victor Kane yet. Audrey, Samantha, Peter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people that are destined to die. Mark, Eva is also on the destined to die list. Maria, kinda. Wait, she's on the list of people destined to die. Well then. Are these people that are destined to die today? Or is this like day after day after day after day? There's seven people, so that implies a week. Anyways. Yes. We really can't always been in touch with them in day and reality. We are driven by love. Love can be furious, funny, and blind. But there is never a need to make excuses for it. Are is there? What exactly do you see in Dream of Yours? The one that you had to do with me. I'm not sure I'll be right talking right now, okay? A truly terrifying battle is ahead of you. If no one has ever told you about your fate, I will be the first. You must know that I admire you in advance. Regardless of the outcome, you will fight a foe that few can defeat. It's a prophecy, regardless of the outcome. 
You will clash with your foe like a dragon slayer, but your weapon will, will turn against you, striking at the heart. You'll end up with your own flesh torn. Every drop of blood you squeeze out of that heart will turn into a gulp of yours. If your foe escapes you, penetrates you, or salves you, you will hear malicious laughter in your ears and my crestfallen weeping. So it's about the murderer. Well, I will make them regret your tears, wherever they are. He laughs last, laughs best. It came from below the ground. For many. Well, this one is, this one is. If I can only save one of them, the only thing is I don't have a full list available. I'll just kill everyone in town. Yeah, that's a painting I didn't notice before. Jeez, the only thing is, I'm just gonna kind of let whatever happens happen. I, I can't do a really good. Oh, there's people. They're here, which means that there's things to talk about. The town is small and rather unexceptional, isn't it? But there are all kinds of people here. I don't think it's small at all, really. Uh, there's all kinds of people here. The simple folk, the more remarkable ones. The former will tell you more than they know. The latter know way more than they're ever gonna let out. Keep a close eye on them. Your victory depends on it. Town small, okay, but there are all kinds of people there. The simple folk and the more remarkable ones. The former will let you know. Who are these remarkable people? My country depends on me, no one knows, okay. There are 20 something of them, easily distinguished by their lodgings or their presence. They are called many names the Bound, the Faded, the Adherence, the Gobos Tigular, the Town Circle. So I referred their company to any other. Why? Because it is that they will decide the fate of this town. Don't be distracted by the fact that some of them look insignificant or distributable. They will earn their worth. You just have to give them time. They are the most important joints in the town. Why are you telling me all this? Each day, one of them will, tr will try death by the tooth. Each will put their lives at risk. And each one that dies is important. Some of them may take the keys to victory to the grave. Mind that the keys are yours, while the grave is theirs. Others will do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. How do you know what is helpful and what gets in the way? Okay, okay, alright. Dropping you more hints would be cheating. Shine it up now. Allow me to conclude then. Each pound you save will influence the finality of your adventure. Each of them has their own goals and motives. It may so happen that those who seek a different ending survive, and then, well, you've been warned. Okay, I'll take that into account and be careful. So basically, I shouldn't try and save everyone. I should save those that have the same goal as me in mind. If those that I let die have different goals than I, or if I survive, save somebody that has a different end goal in mind than I do, I might be in trouble. Now then. Okay, I'll take that into account. We'll be careful. Thank you, Birdman. Alright, what do you have to say, sir? There's something in particular. There's something in particular we feel the urge to warn you about. When you speak to the bound, please choose your words carefully. Do not worry, you won't be easily able to make out what the kind of person is standing before you. An observant man that you are. So, use that skill when dealing with the bound. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, whereas others need to be treated with all most respect. I have no idea what you're talking about. If I ever engage in conversation with someone, it would be for personal gain. Every line you utter will have consequences. News spreads rapidly around here. If you spoil your reputation in one place, you'll have to reap what you have sown in another. Restore your good name in the south, and you'll receive a warmer welcome. In, uh, you'll receive a warmer welcome into the north. They will need uh, heed every word you say, and you'll be rewarded, not by means of money. I hope a handful of money. It's not a dialogue fee. It's not a dialogue fee. Don't get me wrong. Never refuse to take small sums of money from the bound. That would be not be little you in a fashion, but would rather demonstrate that you appreciate the local customs. All right, I'll keep the local customs in mind. So basically, don't deny money, according to this guy. All right. Save game. All right. I was going to switch something up for a second. Ah. 